this question here is an example of commission. The gross wage of a salesman during a particular week is $646. If his basic wage is $475 and he, and he, he is paid a commission, he is paid a commission of 2.5% of the total value of goods sold. Calculate A, the commission that he was paid and B, the total value of the goods sold. So it's like they want us to work backwards here. The first thing they told us is that they said that his gross wage and we know what is gross wage. Your gross wage in this case will be your weekly wage plus your commission, right? They, they told us how much he got at the end of the week, right? So his gross wage is equal to 646. And they also told us that his, um, his basic wage, which is his weekly wage, right? His basic wage is equal to 475. So how do we know how much was his commission? We have to subtract the two, right? So it comes like, let, let me put this at the top. His basic wage is 475. And his gross wage is made up of his basic wage plus his commission. And they are saying that this is six, 646. So let's put that in. Gross wage is 646, which is equal to basic wage, which is 475 plus commission. So therefore the commission will be Subtract the two, 646, because if 475 plus something is 646, we need to know what's the something, right? So 646 subtract 475, which would be equal to 171. So that's my commission, 171. So what did they ask for? So if he has paid so-and-so and a commission of 2.5% of the value of goods sold, so calculate the commission that, that he was paid. So we already calculated the commission, which is 171, right? Yes, because we have his gross, we have his weekly, and we know that the weekly plus the commission is the gross. So we subtracted them and we got his commission. So that, that's part A. Now, how to work out his actual, the total value of goods sold. So it was 2.5% of, 2.5% of his goods sold will give us the commission. So we know that his commission is 2.5%, which is equal to the 171 that we just worked out. So this is actually what we're doing here is proportions, right? So if we know that 2.5% 2. 2. is 171, what, do we, what are we looking for now? The total value. And if we're dealing with percentages, the total percentage is 100%. And the rule we'll now apply is 171 divided by 2.5 multiplied by 100%, right? According to rules that we've did in proportions in previous classes, right? Which is equal to, this is percent, right? So that's, we can leave it as a 2.5. So let's work this out, 171 divided by 2.5 is equal to 68, 68.4. And when we multiply this by 100, 
we'll end up with six, eight, four, two, one, two. Yeah. Six, eight point four multiplied by a hundred. Six, eight, four, zero. Let me explain this example again. So, gross wage is your basic wage plus your commission. They gave us his basic wage and they gave us his gross wage. Right? His gross wage is 646. So, we would need to subtract his basic wage from his gross wage to get his commission, which is what we I'm showing you here. So this is the highlight here. Gross wage is equal to basic wage plus commission. We know his gross wage is 646. We know his basic wage is 475. So we subtract the two. Look at here. We subtract the two to get the difference, which is his commission. So his commission is 646 minus 475, which is 171. We don't need this line. And that's his commission. That's what they asked us to work out his commission. Part B now, they asked us for the total value of goods sold. So we know that commission is based on how much you sell. Right? So if you sell $10,000 and they say 2.5% of that, you will then need to work out 2.5 over 100 multiplied by 10,000 or how much ever it is. So we don't know the amount. We just know he got 2.5%. And that 2.5 cents gave him $171. So we actually have to find the full amount. And we use variations. Right? So 2.5% is equal to 171. The total amount will be represented by 100%. So that would be 100% is equal to right-hand side over left-hand side multiplied by current left-hand side. So it's 171 over 2.5 multiply by 100 over 1 we work this first and we got 68.4 we multiplied it by 100 and we got 68.40 now if we want to see if we are correct we will go 2.5 percent of that 2.5 over 100 multiply by 6840 which is equal to 2.5 divided by 100 multiplied by 6840, which is 171. So we know that we are correct. 2.5% of whatever goods he sold is equal to his commission money, which we got back. So this was just to prove that we did it correctly. Okay, now we will be moving on to two questions that is based on sales tax. So one is VAT inclusive and one is VAT exclusive. So we read the question. An airline ticket to New York is priced at 12.32 and 10 cents inclusive, inclusive of 11% sales tax. What amount would the airline ticket cost exclusive of sales tax? So we see here that the price is VAT inclusive, right? They said that in the question. Price at 12.32 and 10 cents inclusive of 11%. So therefore, the selling price, the selling price is equal to 100%, right? Which is your base plus 11%, right? Because 11% sales tax is included in this and our base price is always 100 so it will be 100 plus 11 which is 111 percent so therefore to work out our VAT exclusive price we would say we want what this price here right 100 without the 11 so it will be 100 over the total, which is this, 
you guys remember, it comes like with one part of the price, right? 100 over 111 multiplied by the ticket cost, 1232.10, which would be equal to 1110. And that's the price of a ticket. Um, without any sales tax. If we move over to this question now, the question reads, a refrigerator is priced at 3800 plus VAT at 15%. What among does the refrigerator actually cost? So plus VAT meaning the VAT is not inclusive as yet. So the price is VAT exclusive. So that means we need to work out the VAT and add it to that. So our selling price is just 100%. Sorry, our cost price is 100%, we need to work out our VAT of 15%, 15 over 100, multiply by 3800, which would give us 570, and then our selling price would be equal to 3,800 plus VAT that we just worked out, which is equal to 4,370. So to explain this question again, our cost price, how do we know the difference between writing our cost price and our selling price? So our cost price is always 100%. Our selling price would either be for more than the cost price or less than the cost price. And in this case, it's more than because we have to add 15% back. So that's why we are working out the 15% back and adding it back to the cost price because it has to sell at 4370, which is the 3800 plus the VAT, which is here. In this question, however, our selling price, they gave us our they gave us the selling price, which is the hundred percent plus the eleven percent, which is hundred and eleven percent. The only problem is we didn't know any of these prices we just had the total for the one 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 percent which was twelve thirty two ten we didn't know how much was the hundred and how much was the eleven we couldn't work that out so therefore we had to find one hundred out of the one hundred and eleven multiplied by the total price they gave us to find out what was the hundred percent so if I decide now that I want to find out eleven percent of this so let's say 11 over 100 multiply by 1110. I will have 122.1, one, right? So it comes like I'm working out a VAT here. And if I add 122.1 to so the same thing, 1110, I'm positively sure I should get 1232. 122.1 plus 1110, 1232.1. Right? So this is, this is, if we have the, the price before VAT, we can work out the VAT and then add it back just like the question across here.
So that's how we handle inclusive, inclusive, and you're finding back exclusive. You just put 100 over whatever amount you worked out here, multiply it by the total that they gave you, and back. We will go the back this way and then add it, and we'll get our total. So it's just about taking our time, reading the question, understanding inclusive and exclusive.